And welcome back to Dr. Noah's YouTube updates. It's uh, you know the end of July, Monday starts August 2011. So we've been going to go over some uh, particular type of occupations that have a high oxidative stress level like that. So we talked about firefighters, and today we're going to talk about people that fly in the in, in the sky. Whether or not you're airline uh, attendants, you, you know you're a pilot, co-pilot, anything like that you increase your exposure to ionizing radiation. The higher you go up, and in fact, even where you live, if you live in the mountains, you have more exposure to radiation than we don't. So what we want to do is, you know, when you, you know, make some precautions. Uh, we just talked about cell phones, I mean, cell phones are around. Well, people are still going to keep flying. So I try to advocate, okay, well, stop being the doctor gloom and, and doom type of doctor. Well, I don't. I try to give you a solution. So, yeah, I fly planes. I mean, I have a cell phone. I have little devices on it and do other type of things. So that's what we're trying to tell you here is using different types of compounds, especially a NERF2 activator like protanum, which is able to reduce oxidative stress down to a baby uh, within 30 days is very powerful medicine. And so this is something that you can, once again, bank on in terms of trying to reduce your risk of these bad things like cancer and other types of serious problems. So in this study here showing that nu uh, nutritional supplementation designed for a astronauts for, once again, uh, fighting the effects of radiation. I mean, we know that astronauts going in, now the program is over with, has the highest levels they're exposed like. Well, NASA and, and, a, and a Johnson Space Center actually commissioned uh, from the University of Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, published in Radiation Research Science, May 2011, is that you know antioxidants are a really important part. And, and their their uh, conclusion is, I believe this is the strongest proof yet that nutritional supp supplementation can truly help even in the most adverse of environmental conditions. This isn't a health food store. This isn't some type of nutritionist. This is one of the leading scientists in aerospace type of medicine that's out there because they're looking in terms of real science, once again, not an info commercial, what's going on. So here's something that you can do in terms of a very simple and effective way of making yourself, making yourself better. So taking one little yellow pill, one a day, it's been, once again, been shown scientifically, it's only published in free radical biology. That's what we're talking about. Very, very important. Uh, just to follow up the show importance on this, uh, another study is showing here that flying and radiation risk, physicists calls for airline in industry to educate workers about radiations. So it's one thing is for you, I only fly maybe three or four times a year, but if you work there, this is now an occupational risk. And so you need to tell you, or if you're, you are in, you, you, you're a pilot or an airline attendant like that, you need to contact me or someone else about certain things you'll be doing. There's other compounds out there that I like. We're going to talk about that a little bit later on today, uh, like beta-1316 glucan, which is a real effective in terms of ionizing radiation. The, the Army actually did a study where they did what's called an LD-100, a lethal dose radiation to these mice. I know I'm a vegetarian too, we don't like that for the little creatures like that. So, But I don't think you'd want to volunteer being radiated radi where 100% you would die. And the, those people that took the um, beta-1,3 glucan a day or two afterwards, this, they were exposed to this, wasn't even prophylactic, they were able to decrease the death rate by 60%. So, I mean, this is powerful, powerful side stuff. We don't have that research on protanda, but we know that oxidative stress is the causative factor of this damage to our body, and be able to know conclusively that we're able to reduce oxidative stress in 30 days to a baby once again, it's very powerful medicine. So, so if you fly, you know, you fly often, with, and this doesn't even include the, the the garbage that you know where they radiate you going through those machines. I mean, that's a, that's a whole different joke altogether. I think I saw that uh, in the last 10 years, they've had 25,000 you know uh, breaches of, of security uh, by their own accord. So it's probably at least five times that. So I mean, it's just a joke. But anyway, that's another game they play. But when you go through that machine, that's ionizing radiation. When you go, we've talked about the almost 30,000 extra cancers a year when you go and have a CT scan uh, overuse. But once again, so if you do this, that's what I recommend. Okay, uh, even my profession, you know, uh, we, we, we do x-rays and other things like that. I advocate and I, and I highly recommend. Here, you should take these things a couple days beforehand to reduce the level. And imaging can be beneficial, gives the doctors more information. Whether that you go to your dentist or anything like that, that's very, very important to take a proactive stage. And so that's what I recommend to my patients. So there you go. If you fly in the air, look for some type of nerve 2 activator like Protanda. Thanks.